Hello, it's Koi, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. For those of you that this is your first time, welcome. And for those of you that have been joining along since the beginning, or you're, you're here on a regular basis, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for showing up every day. We have been working on uh, the cover for our Christmas in July, our Latin style Christmas in July journal. And before we actually sew the signatures in, we have decided unanimously that we better do our glittering first because the glittering is gonna be much easier when we're able to pull the pages out and do them one at a time than it will be once they're already sewn into the journal. Um, glitter is not something that I've, you know, that I'm, I'm used to. It's not something I've done on prior journals, um, but I just know that it'll be easier and less messy if we do it before the pages are sewn in. All right, and we are using Spectra Glitter. It's a clear crystal, uh, sparkling crystal glitter. And we've used it already in our journal. And I think that, you know, because, because can we see it sparkling a little bit? All right. Um, so I'm, I use the Art Glitter Glue with it, and it dries really clear. And I just think that we need whatever we're gonna glitter. Since we started glittering, we need to keep glittering. And can we see it there? Sparkling on our on our little dolls. All right, so let's glitter. It's not our favorite thing to do. And I don't know, what did we do this two weeks ago? However long ago we did it, I'm just now, I've just now um, I think gotten all the glitter off my desk, but here we go. Um, we're going to use, this is the top of my, um, can that I use to hold some of, uh, some of my laces and stuff. Cookie can. And it worked okay last time. I didn't have anything as large as this journal cover last time, but let's just go ahead and do this part first. Art glitter glue. This is what it was made for. It specialty is doing glitter. Not that I use glitter, but if I wouldn't want to do this job without the art glitter glue. It wouldn't be easy, would it? Okay, um, Louise, we're doing it again. I know I get a little carried away with the glue and just start dabbing away. But as we know from prior experience, it does dry clear. So I'm not covering up anything um, by doing this is good. She's gonna have sparkly eyebrows. Frida, your eyebrows are gonna sparkle, girl. Okay, and so are your lips, shiny lips. Christmas ornaments. Let's make sure that they are sparkling. Our Christmas star on the top of our tree. Sparkle girl. Even our tree trunk, a little sparkly. Flowers. Mm 
And our Feliz Navidad. I'm afraid to do those now because I don't feel like the, 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 well, all right, let's do it. I hope this doesn't make it harder to read. It might. I might regret this. The worst that can happen is I have to write this all over again and make a patch. All right, I'm hoping that enhances and not uh, the opposite. I hope I don't get the opposite effect. All right, let's do this before the glue dries. If this was silver or some other kind of glue, I would not be able to do this. Not like this. All right, here goes. Oh yeah, we're sparkling all right. Oh, did I forget to do Musa? The moo the muse. She says she, she has her own muse. Little did she know how many muses she would be other people's muse, right? Frida, you have become the muse of many. All right, dry, Frida. And let's take these one at a time. This one's already sparkly. here. Why not? Just a little. Sparkle plenty. I know I've mentioned this before, but my sister has um, a company called Party Perfect. And that's been our, you know, our family um, business and traits and personality for our, our whole life. She decorates large parties. And we always have glitter, artists, glitter, and fun things all around. One of these days, one of these days, maybe... I'll be in South Florida and can um, give you a little tour of Party Perfect. But the reason I'm mentioning it is because glitter. For our whole lives, there's been glitter. Everything glitters. I really, really wish I had some Party Perfect glitter because... It is iridescent, and it is even more beautiful than this. I kind of like this, though. I like that it doesn't have any color at all and didn't overwhelm my pages. It's just clear. All right. All right, we're going to have pages everywhere. Is that bad? Maybe. Maybe when we start putting them all back together. Okay. Here we go. It's going to be a thing. 
All right, that page is already done. This page is not on the inside, just on the outside. All right, yeah, we'll take a little, a little sparkle here. Louise, you should try it. Once you start dabbing, it's hard to stop. Louise laughed at me last time for um, for dabbing away. <laughs> well, I guess I did get a little carried away. And I did it before I was sure how things were going to work out. Luckily, it worked out well. Okay, yeah, these these two belly bands really needed a little sparkling, didn't they? They were a little bit on the boring side. Some sparkle will do them good. I'm envisioning not knowing where any page goes, but does it really matter? As long as we like where we put them in the end, does it matter where they were before? No, I guess not. Maybe I should only do one signature at a time. I don't know. All right, this guy right here. These are, the, these are I bet, um, Cuban cigar box tops. I like them very much. And why not? It's Christmas time. Let's give them a little sparkle. If it wasn't Christmas time, they would not be sparkling. Not in my journal. I don't foresee once this is once this is um done, I don't foresee any more glitter in any of my journals, maybe until next Christmas time. Why else would you glitter it up? Oh, this guy's sitting on boxes and boxes of cigar boxes. Funny what you see when you look closely. There's a little house back here. All right. Somebody put a lot of work into uh, making this image. I am not a promoter of cigar smoking or smoking of any kind. I don't like it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even want to be in the same room where there was somebody smoking a, guitar, uh, a cigar. Yuck. But... The art they put on these boxes is so amazing. Alright, let's glitter this one while the glue's still wet. Then we'll do the other one. I don't want to make this too boring for you guys. I could just put the video on pause, do some more glittering and come back and show you what it looks like. I 
let's get this one down and then we'll decide. Dabbing away. <laughs> hmm. Have any are any of you glitterers? Do you glitter in your junk journals? After I glittered the first time, I just only did a few a few um, of the pages because I thought, oh my God, what if I hate it? But I've enjoyed it, you know, over the past couple of weeks looking at uh, everything glittering and sparkling. And I knew pretty much right from the start that we would have another big glitter session. Okay, little blurb birds, let's come get your glitter. Come get your glitter on. Just a little bit. A little sparkle. Okay, I'm just not going to make you guys sit through this whole thing. It's, uh, as I'm glittering, it makes it hard to speak, <laughs> think of things to say. Um, as I'm focusing on getting this uh, glitter in the right place and hoping that it turns out the way that I want it to, I don't think I'm, well... Hmm, a little, maybe around the dots, only because it's Christmas time, not because it's guacamole for sure. This is the guacamole recipe that we made. This is the way I make my guacamole. One of my favorite things. I love anything, um... Anything Mexican food, anything Mexican, I like to stuff it full of cilantro. We have one of my favorite things is the pineapple salsa recipe that we put in the other journal. That is something that we use all the time. And the... Um, Inspiration for that recipe came from um, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a, uh, you know, a food system where they send you, you know, they send you meals. Like, you still have to put them together. You still have to cook them, put them together. But they send the exact right amount of, of food. And I did that for a while. Um, and my son was doing that for a while also. And sometimes... In the Mexican food, they would send pineapple. Then you put in the cilantro and the seasonings and everything and make pineapple salsa. That is something we don't want to have our Taco Tuesday without pineapple salsa. Okay, a little bit of glitter there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the video on pause. Let some of this stuff start drying. Do some more. And I will be back 
to show them to you and we will uh, be sh uh, sewing in our signatures. Okay, and we are back. We are sufficiently glittered and dried and we're gonna go ahead and get our signatures sewn in to the journal. <sighs> um, uh, I sparkled things. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not 100% sold on sparkling, but we had already started it, so I wanted to complete it. And <clears throat> we are glittered up. Let me just do a quick, quick flip of this first. Okay, glitter. 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 Not everything's glittered, but most things are glittered. These are the little tags that are, you know, just the top little things are glittered. The cigar box tops. Oh, Maria of Mexico. She's glittered. I didn't glitter her behind the, the back of her. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Everything's glittered. And again, like I said, I don't know if I will ever glitter another journal. But we have glittered this one for sure. All right. I've gone through the signatures and I've made sure everything is right side up. I'm not doing that on screen with you guys, but make sure uh, that you don't forget to do that as you are uh, making your own journals because it's never happened to me, but I've seen it happen to other folks in their videos where they have um, sewn their signatures in with a page or two upside down. And I would imagine that that is pretty discouraging. And luckily I was able to learn from their mistakes. And thank you to all that have come before me. And thank you to the people who have made the mistakes that I won't have to make. And for those who have made mistakes, letting me know that it's okay to make mistakes. Okay, it's just a junk journal. It's just paper. It can always be reprinted, right? Okay. I usually use, when I'm sewing these in, I usually use the big paper clips just to make sure nothing moves during the sewing process. I just use two, one on the top, on one side, one on the bottom of the other side. And... I usually use my ruler to, you know, to consolidate the pages as much as possible. And we're already getting chunky here. I didn't, uh, you know, I had figured that I would probably um, spread these out to five signatures instead of three. I didn't, so the signatures are already pretty fluffy. And by the time we add our pockets and tags, we're, we're going to be fairly fluffy. But that's okay. Probably once we get the tags and stuff in there, probably won't be that much more added. Um, maybe more flat things like, let's see, we usually use three links. One, two, three, But to, most people use between two and a half and three lengths of thread. And I'm gonna use all six strands of this embroidery floss. And a lot of people use embroidery floss. A lot of people use waxed um, book binding uh, thread. I have a lifetime supply of this embroidery floss. So I'm using it because I want to use some of it up. So almost all of my book binding uses 
this. Okay, and remember we put our little T at the top. And we're gonna fold this, put our holes in our paper. Remember we already put the holes earlier in the cover. This is, the cover is always larger than the pages by about a half an inch or so. So we want to make sure to have about the same amount hanging over the, the top as the bottom. And it's not an exact science by any means. All right. <laughs> I'm using an awl. People have different ways of doing it. I use an awl. It's two and three. Okay, now we have the holes in our signature. And I always start, I always do an uneven number and I always start with the middle signature first, and then I can just lay the, you know, the first one and the second one in. Sometimes I do five, and I still start with the middle one first, uh, whether I'm doing five or whether I'm doing three signatures. And I go in from, I go in from the inside of the journal to the outside, because I want my, um, the ends of my thread to be on the inside of the journal, not on the outside. Okay, if you want them on the outside to tie little dangles or something, you would start from the outside and come in. Okay. And there's that. So you start with the middle. And then I go to the top. And then go all the way to the bottom. And you want it tight, but not over tight. Okay, and then you're gonna go back in the same middle hole. I know most of you, <laughs> most of you have been doing this probably longer than I have and you know this like the back of your hand. This is the three hole pamphlet stitch and I'm just saying it out loud in case there's someone that has never done it before. careful when you're going in not to go in between the threads and you always want to have your your needle on one side of this middle thread okay I think I did go through the threads I'm gonna make sure not to do that untangle them if you did you want to have the needle on one side and the end of your thread here on the other Let's pull it tight enough where this is tight, but not over tight. You don't want to rip your page. And you're going to have the threads, one on each side of the middle, um, your middle thread. Double check the outside. Let's double check the outside. Make sure everything's tight. And it is. It looks good. And we're going to do a square knot, left over right, right over left. And there we have it, first signature in. You can cut these or leave them long, 
to hang a dangle. I usually like mine somewhere in between. Um, just gonna clip them like this. Okay, and clips can come off. And there we have it. The middle signature is installed and it's ready to go. All right, now you can go either way, the front one or the back one. Front one's right here. Let's do it. And we'll do the same thing, put the clips on. One on the top, on this side. One on the bottom on this side. If you don't have these, you can use any kind of clips, bulldog clips or whatever you have in your art room. I don't know where I, oh, I got these at a, um, at a thrift store. They had uh, pom-poms uh, sewn onto them. I took the pom-poms off and I have qu uh, quite a few of them. And really this is the only thing I've used them for. The giant paper clips. Okay, and I always use the ruler to get this as, as flat and close to each other as possible. Uh, the center signature, center of the signature. Feel free, if any of you have, um, you know, tip, tips, tricks that you use that, you know, that makes things simpler, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Okay, the T is at the top, and we want to make sure that we're leaving the same amount of overhang on the top as the bottom. And let's get our holes in our pages. This middle one. Top one. Bottom one. I think the top one moved a little bit. Let's see how far off it is. No, it's not too bad. Okay. All right, that should be fine, I think, I hope. Okay, and this is the first signature. <laughs> I'm bragging about that uh, lifetime supply of thread that I have. Meanwhile, I didn't pull enough out. Okay, the only thing I have here, I'm using a different color green. Oh well, good thing it's my journal. Otherwise, I would have to have been more careful to make sure that I had, that I was using thread that had enough for all three signatures. I did not do that. I just used what was in the box. Okay. If I'm really unhappy with it, I can take the middle signature out and thread it, sew it in with, with this thread instead. I doubt I'm going to do that, but it could happen. All right. And we're going to go in through the middle hole. And into our book cover. to the bottom. 
bottom one. Back up through the middle one. last one coming up through the middle is the one you have to be the most careful on because you already have thread in there and we need to make sure we're not splitting the threads all right what's going on here you're not cooperating do it like this We want the thread on one side, the needle on the other side. Okay, something's going on here. Okay, but nothing they can't handle. Make sure we're nice and tight. Looks good. Right over left, left over right. A nice tight square knot and trim. All right, let's see how bad the two colors look. No, not bad at all. Not enough for me to worry about, that's for sure. Okay, and we could always put something over. We could, um, you know, put something over the spine if we don't want to look at the threads, but I don't mind them. Okay. And one more signature, and we will be good to go. Okay, put our clip on the top on this side, on the bottom on this side, I have to say that I'm not 100% thrilled about the glitter. Louise, I know you knew that. Um, I don't dislike it but I don't know that I'll be doing it again next year. It was an experiment, but I felt strongly that because we had already glittered some, we needed to keep going. And especially on the front, I don't, you know, unglittered, <laughs> unglittered is good. Uh, all right, T for the top. We wanna make sure that, here, let's scoot you over. That the overhang's the same on the top and the bottom. I should put a little line. It's late now. But I could have put a little line here. Uh, that would make sure we were getting them all in the exact same spot. One hole, 
two holes. And hole number three. Again, we're going to use three times the length of the page. One, two, three. I'm not a great needle threader. Here was the rest of the, here was the rest of the, the correct thread. Uh, I was looking at this for some reason. This was the thread. I wasn't as careless as um, I'm thinking I was. Oh well. It's like this now. If that's the biggest mistake we make today, life will be good. Okay, and signature number three, here we come. Okay, we're going in through the middle. a little silly about the thread situation but I'm not I'm not too um, disappointed no I don't really have a problem with the two different colors threads and I like that the the different one is in the middle and the other two ones on each end are the same you could it, Look like you almost looks like you planned it this way. Okay, up through the top hole. Down through the bottom hole. Back up through the middle hole. This is not my favorite part um, of journaling, but again, it's nothing to be afraid of. It's not, you know, some people are, are almost terrified to try and get their signatures sewn in. But it's not that difficult if you, you know, use a basic formula. Three whole pamphlet stitch is about as exciting as I get. There's so many different ways. I saw Louise um, at Louise W. Designs. Hi, Louise. Louise did an open spine. Louise, put in comments what you called yours. I think an open spine where she used a piece of fabric uh, on the spine. And it looks cute. And I wouldn't mind trying something like that. But I'm also, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm also not disappointed with the three hole pamphlet stitch. And I've never used a five hole. A lot of people use five hole. I've never felt the need to upgrade to the five from the three. Uh, 
But if you want to get daring, you do you. Figure it out. There's a lot, you know, just um, on YouTube, just just uh, put in the search bar, you know, uh, bookbinding techniques. Nick the Booksmith has uh, a lot of different options, and there's a lot of people out there that that uh, like to get fancy with their bookbinding techniques. I tend, at least so far, to stick to the three-hole pamphlet stitch. Okay. And there we have it, folks. We have a journal now. We have a journal now. All right, very good. Thank you guys so much for, for being here with me today. I want to thank you um, for showing up. I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I will see you real soon.